about nuclear reactors, they are complicated and difficult for the average person to understand. The Three Mile Island accident generated so much interest in reactors, however, that there are now computer games on the market designed to show, in the form of a simulation, just what happens inside a reactor. Ken Kashwahara reports on one of those games. Chris Crawford has a background in physics and as a research engineer for Atari has designed a nuclear power game called Scram, which is both educational and challenging. Using a computer and a joystick, the computer program simulates the operation of a typical nuclear power plant. It is based on the design of the plant at Three Mile Island. A nuclear power plant is a very dynamic thing. And I wanted something that would show them uh, the functioning of it, uh, how all the pieces fit together, because it is a complex machine that uh, is highly interactive, and that's what I wanted to get across. And the computer was the best way to do that. To play the game, one must understand the basics of nuclear power generation, the role of the reactor, which heats the water to create steam, the steam generator, which turns the turbine to create electricity, and all the valves that control the water flow. Now, the best way to learn about something is to play with it. Now, that, it's no good to play with a real thing, though. You don't teach three-year-olds how to drive by throwing them into a car and letting them go, and you don't teach nuclear operators how to run a nuclear power plant by putting them in a real power plant. The first stage of the game is one of trial and error to understand what happens when something goes wrong. I can come over here to these uh, main feed water pumps and turn them off if I want and see what happens when I do that. Oh, boy, Mommy, let's see what happens when we turn off the main feed water pump. Oh, no! We're steam biting. Oh, no! Uh, the reactor gets a little warm all of a sudden. Uh, so I blew it. Once you think you know, then you go back and you play it as a game because you raise the risk level and earthquakes start to come and they break components down, they break pumps, they break valves. There's an earthquake. So I've got an earthquake coming in here, shaking up that power plant and it broke something. You can hear it go clang and something broke. Uh-oh, steam voiding. I'm in trouble already. What broke? Well, I analyze the situation. I look at the temperatures on the right side of the screen I see 96 and 63. The 63 is a falling temperature. That tells me that one of these circulating water pumps broke, so I send five workers in to repair it. They repair the pump, and everything's going to start cooling off again. The game ends with a meltdown of the radioactive core. But throughout the simulation, the player has learned about nuclear power and experienced the worst possible nuclear accident without experiencing the actual horrors of nuclear radiation. Ken Kashwahara, ABC News, Sunnyvale, California.